the Cooper Belt, a disk-shaped region found in the outer solar system, passed the orbit of Neptune. Containing millions of asteroids and comets and is one of the largest structures in the solar system. It extends from the orbit of Neptune at around 30 astronomical units out to around 50 AU from the Sun and contains hundreds of millions of small icy bodies, asteroids, comets, that are thought to be leftover material from the formation of the outer planets. In 1943, astronomer Kenneth Edgeworth suggested comets and larger bodies might exist beyond Neptune. And in 1951, Astronomer Gerard Cooper predicted the existence of a belt of icy objects at the far edge of the solar system. Today, the rings predicted by the pair are known as the Cooper Belt or the Edgeworth-Cooper Belt. The Cooper Belt is similar to the asteroid belt found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, but it is 20 times as wide and somewhere between 20 to 200 times more massive. The ices are frozen volatiles that are made up of methane, nitrogen, ammonia and water. At least three dwarf planets are located in the Cooper Belt, Pluto, Haumea and Makemake. Also, some of the solar system's moons are thought to have originated there, such as Neptune Triton and Saturn Phoebe. The Cooper Belt contains millions of icy objects, ranging in size from small lumps of ice, to large objects of 100 kilometers in diameter or more. With Pluto being the largest object in the Cooper Belt, some statistics suggest that there could be over 1 trillion comet nuclei in the main body. Despite its vast extent, the collective mass of the Cooper Belt is relatively low. Astronomers think the icy objects of the Cooper Belt are remnants left over from the formation of the solar system. Similar to the relationship between the main asteroid belt and Jupiter, it's a region of objects that might have come together to form a planet, had Neptune not been there. Instead, Neptune's gravity stirred up this region of space so much that the small, icy objects there weren't able to coalesce into a large planet. Objects in the Cooper Belt either collide with one another or have a small chance to unite and become bigger objects. Some astronomers believe that the KBOs, due to increased collisions, grind each other slowly into dust, thus the Cooper Belt may disappear in the far future. The Cooper Belt shouldn't be confused with the Oort Cloud, which is an even more distant, spherical region of icy, comet-like bodies that surrounds the solar system, including the Cooper Belt. But both the Oort Cloud and the Cooper Belt are thought to be sources of comets and asteroids. The amount of material in the Cooper Belt today might be just a small fraction of what was originally there. According to one well-supported theory known as the Nice model, the shifting orbits of the four giant planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune could have caused most of the original material, likely seven to ten times the mass of Earth to be lost. Today the Cooper belt is slowly eroding itself away. The total mass of all the material in the Cooper belt today is estimated to be no more than about 10% of the mass of Earth. Sedna, a KBO that's about three-fourths the size of Pluto, was discovered in 2004. It is so far out from the Sun that it takes about 10,500 years to make a single orbit. Much of the Cooper Belt remains unexplored, but due to its relative closeness to us, it is and will continue to be greatly studied, especially since it could offer us some important answers, regarding the formation of our solar system.